Yeah. We're with the Winkle, and today we are building a playground. Well, a miniature playground. A miniature playground, that's right. Juliet, do you love playing on the playground? Yeah. Yes. Super fun. What's your favorite thing on the playground? And um, I like all of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, should we see what's in our kit today? Yeah. All right. Two pieces of pool noodle. Card stock. Chalk paper. Three pipe cleaner. A wooden spool. Two grads. A piece of wood. A piece of chalk. Okay. And some push pins. And some glue dots. On top of everything in your kit today, you'll need some glue or a glue stick or maybe even some tape. And you will also need your box. box. Or some box. If you don't have your Winkle box, that's fine. But you're gonna need some box or a flat um, poster or a flat piece of cardboard or something so you can build your playground on top of that. And once you have all that, we're ready to get started. Julia, I know one of your favorite places to go. Disneyland. <laughs> Did you know before they built that whole big park of Disneyland, they built a miniature version of it, just like what we're gonna build today, a miniature playground. Did you know they built a miniature version of Disneyland? Oh, cool. Yeah, I got to go see the miniature version in San Francisco when I was there with Daddy, and it's in the Walt Disney Museum that's there in San Francisco. Do you want me to show it to you? Yeah. Okay. So here's the miniature version of Disneyland. And you can see a few things have changed since they built it. They've added some things and they've taken a few things out that aren't there anymore. But this is pretty much how they built Disneyland. They had a model of it and so they could always look at this model and see what they wanted Disneyland to look like. For our playground today, we're going to pretend like we want to build a big playground, but <laughs> yeah. we're gonna build a small version of that. And then once we're done, we could even play with like our toys and stuff and pretend like they're going to the playground. <laughs> the first thing you wanna do is to undo your box and flatten it out the best you can like this. So you just take those tabs out and flatten it and then bend it the other way and that'll help flatten it a lot. So we're gonna build a merry-go-round, a slide, a swing set, and we also have a special chalk paper and a piece of chalk to build a hopscotch, okay? Okay. So, what should we start with? The merry-go-round. Okay, let's start with the merry-go-round. Okay. We have our glue dots. Of now course. you just need one of your glue dots. And peel it and the peel. That's and peel right. the piece of paper off. And do you want to rub it right there on the spool? Put it right there on the spool. And press, nope, press really hard. There you go, and then pull it very carefully. You might have to use a little bit of your other finger to help hold it down. But yeah, you got it. Okay, and we wanna make, don't touch the glue dot because that will make it not sticky anymore. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> we wanna look at how big our merry-go-round is, right? Because we want the whole thing to be able to fit on our playground. So think about where you want this to go on your playground. What do you think, about right here? Um, maybe. Okay, then the spool is gonna go in the middle of that. Do you wanna press that in there? Yeah. And press it hard. These are permanent glue dots, meaning once they stick, they're gonna be super sticky. Oh. So make sure they're exactly where you want before, <laughs> before you put it down all the way. Okay, now we're gonna take our push pins and we're just going to push them in to the merry-go-round um, go opposite, there you go, opposite, opposite and then we want opposite way. here, and then one more opposite, so there and there. Turn that around. Yes. Yeah. This got a lot of work. Yeah, now try the merry-go-round out. <laughs> Can you imagine riding on that? Wouldn't that be so fun? <laughs> All right, now we get to do our hopscotch, so we could decide where we want our hopscotch to go. Right there. Right there? Okay. Yeah. So that's what we want our glue stick for. All done. Okay, Julia, have you ever done hopscotch before? No. Okay, let me show you how it goes. We have, and this is special chalk paper. It's meant for chalk and it shows up so nicely, don't you think? So we have squares, and you know what squares are? Yeah. And we have rectangles. And 
Do you know what happens when you divide a rectangle in half? Yeah, it becomes two squares. So we're going to do another square. Now we have square, rectangle, square, rectangle, square, rectangles. And now we add numbers to them. So we go one, two, and travel making. That's okay. And the thing is, with this chalk paper, if you want to erase, you just rub it with your finger and you can write over the top. Fun! We got our hopscotch done! What you do if you're playing hopscotch on the playground is you throw a bean bag or a, a rock or something on the hopscotch. Or, or a mini bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with your Minnie Mouse hopscotch at home. Yeah. You throw a mini bow on it. Yeah. Yes, and then whatever number it lands on, you don't jump on that number. So let's say if it landed on number four, you would have to go one, one foot, foot, and then two, two feet, feet, and then skip, and then do two, two feet. feet. Yeah. So one feet, two feet, two feet, one feet, two feet. Yes. And if you guys want, I have a really fun hopscotch activity under my freebies on my website. So if you go to www.thewinkle.com, forward slash freebies, okay? Then you can get access to my free hopscotch super fun game that you can play at home. Okay, our hopscotch is done. You can always add more chalk or designs. Just pretend like it's sidewalk chalk and this is your big sidewalk that you're playing with. So with a slide, you're going to have to have stairs going to the top. And this is a good balancing part because your stairs and your slide are gonna have to be at an angle like this and that helps them balance each other. They support each other like that, right? Just like yeah. the roof of a house. Yeah. To turn the paper into stairs, we're gonna fold it like a fan. So we fold it one way, and then the other way, and we want our steps to match up with each other, so make sure that they're lined up so they're nice and even. Can you imagine going up steps that aren't even? Every step yeah. would be different. That would be, that would trip you up, probably. Yeah. Okay, we have our fan, and that's gonna pop up like this, and look! Stairs! Okay, so we have our stairs and our slide, and we're gonna put them like this on our playground. We're gonna put one permanent glue dot on the bottom of the slide, and see how it you we need to put it on the edge this yeah. edge right here we don't need to put it on the flat part it's going to be on the yeah. edge because that's how it's going to be sitting on our box okay we're going to put this glue dot right here this permanent glue dot i'm going to smash it right there on the edge of the pool noodle carefully take it off i'm going to put the other glue dot on the other side right in the middle same spot just on both sides and then the slide can go up like this mm -hmm. with stairs going up like that yeah. and then we've got to use the glue stick to glue the stairs into place yeah. okay so we have our permanent glue dot here and here on the pool yeah. noodle we have our stairs of our slide and I put the glue stick right here to, to hold those stairs but in place. on the bottom. Yeah, on the bottom, of course, to hold the stairs in place. Yeah. Hey, and Juliet had a great idea that we need to put some sort of cushion or pillow because she thinks the slide might be a little dangerous for some yeah. of her friends if they were going yeah. down there. Yeah. Okay, so without what... Without a cushion. Right, without a cushion. So what I want to challenge you guys is after you make your playground today, you can make whatever you want with it. So you can put, add a pillow cushion or you could add um, a trampoline or a swimming pool or whatever you think your playground should be or monkey bars. Okay, okay we have our merry-go-round, our hopscotch, and our um, slide with stairs. What is next? The swing. Swing, yes. <laughs> okay, so so far we have used all of our supplies. We have left our pipe cleaner, our 
piece of wood, our paper clips, which I we did for <laughs> forgot to tell them that we have paper clips, and then our brads, okay? So our brads are gonna help our swing set stay in place. Yeah. All right, we're going to take our pipe cleaner and measure it in thirds. The way you measure something in thirds, yeah, you fold it three ways until every side is even. If I did that, would all the sides be even? No. Yeah, no. So I have to kind of do this. Now all the sides are even. All right. Like a swing set. Like a swing set. All right, so I have my even sides to my swing set and I need to make these more like corners mm -hmm. and poles that go straight down. And then the foot of my swing set, I'm just gonna bend it just a little bit like this because our brad is gonna go on top of it and secure that into our cardboard. So for the brad to go into the cardboard, we've gotta poke a little hole with our pencil Put the brad through the hole mm -hmm. and make sure. I can see it on the bottom. I know. Make sure the pipe cleaner gets under that brad and then you're going to flatten it on the back. I Do you flatten it? Before. Do you know anybody named Brad? No. <laughs> that is a funny name for a human. <laughs> brad? Yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna poke. I'm gonna see how I've measured right where my swing set is on the other side. I'm gonna poke a hole right there, put my brad in, and then make sure my swing set is nice and secure under that brad. And then can you flatten those? The way that you flatten the brad in the back is just to open it up like this. Like that. Mm -hmm. And like that. Yeah. So you put it through the hole. Make sure that that pipe cleaner is nice and secure okay, under it, and Julia's I'll gonna flatten. flatten it for us. Nice. Okay, so you can build your swing however you want, whatever um, tools you have. If you have tape, that might make it easier. If you have scissors um, or glue stick, but we have these paper clips right here. Okay, we're gonna straighten out our paper clips straight as you can. And then you're going to bend just the tip over so it'll go around your swing set. And we're gonna hang the paper clips on here. And then I bent them at the bottom so the swing set can be held on that, just like that. So if you have tape, that might be a good idea to tape that into place. But we also have pipe cleaner, so we're gonna wire it into place with the pipe cleaner. Mm -hmm. And that'll make a nice soft cushion. So what you do is you wrap the pipe cleaner around your seat, like that. And it makes a swing. Nice and tight. <laughs> and then you can put your paper Thank clip. You. <laughs> yeah, you can put your paper clip in there. And then we're gonna hang it on the swing set. You've gotta balance it so the swing doesn't fall over. And there we go, look at that. Do you wanna play with the swing set? Yeah. Okay. It works! Yay! That's so fun! Yeah, we have to be careful not to play with it too much because it's just a model. It's not really a real playground. Yeah. Real playgrounds, they work really hard. They're engineers, actually, that yeah. build those playgrounds. And they work really hard to make sure every feature of the playground is very safe for the kids yeah. that are going to be on it. So I want to challenge you kids at home that you can turn your playground into any sort of playground you want. I give you the basics of building a merry-go-round, swing, hopscotch, <laughs> and slide, and you can always add more to it. So what would you add if you could add more to your playground, Juliet? I know. What? Oh yeah, a zip line. Oh, a zip line would be so fun. And a monkey bars. Monkey bars, a teeter-totter. There's oh, so yeah. many other things that you could yeah. add to your playground. Well, thanks for building this playground with us today, everybody. We are loving this playground project and we would love to see what you built. So, after you're done with your project, take a picture or video and have a grown-up post it to social media. Tag us at the Winkle Crate and that way we can see what you built. Yeah. Are, are you so excited to see what everybody built? Yeah. Me too. Thanks for building with us today, everybody. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Have fun. Ta da. Okay. <laughs> oh. Wait. Wait. What was it? Whoa. Dump all the people off. Ah.